What's going on guys? Today I'm going to show you markers inside of Pro Tools 9. Now what are markers? Well markers have an actual separate timeline just like bars and beats and uh, minutes and seconds just just like all those good timelines but what markers um, does for you is it places a marker inside of Pro Tools and s helps you separate and organize your song based on categories such as like verse, your chorus, your second verse. So it can separate chunk by chunk so you kind of know where you are and how to navigate a little bit better. But another thing about markers is it allows you to jump from one marker to another and I'll show you how to do that right now. So go ahead and open up your Pro Tools session and I have this band up. And let's, let's take a look, cause, or let's take a listen. What I'm gonna do is listen for the, intro the introduction part. I'm gonna place a marker there and then place uh, another marker for uh, the actual verse. So let's, uh, let's see how that works. Go and talk. I'm sorry. Okay, now as you can see, the introduction kind of started right here. The, about right here is where everything kind of came in. So, whoops, let's zoom out. I mean, even if we zoom out, and uh, let's, let's make all of these small really quick, or mini. That's kind of where everything comes in. I'll play it for you guys one more time. So we wanna start that somewhere around here. Okay, I'm gonna make this bigger. Ah, uh, it's actually too big. Okay, that's good. So first, we want to rewind it all the way back. You can rewind your time marker all the way back by simply hitting return, and that rewinds the, t the play marker all the way to the, the front, or you can just simply click and drag on, to, on the uh, play marker. So we want the very beginning of the song to have a marker. So making a marker is really easy. All you have to do is hit enter on your uh, keyboard, but not the return key, the enter key right next to the, uh, the numeric pad. So we're all the way on the right hand side of your keyboard. So hit that. That's one way of bringing up a, a new memory. Another way is simply obviously place the play marker wherever you want the new marker to be. And then simply go to the left top hand corner right here. So you see where it says meter. This is your timeline. So simply just uh, click on the plus guy and that's going to bring up that, that window. Oh, I'm sorry. Meter. Did I say meter? Marker. M's. Uh, dyslexic. Anyway. Um, Markers. Go ahead and hit plus sign on markers, and that's going to bring up this window again. So let's simply name our new marker and just name it intro, and that's good enough for me. Let's go ahead and hit OK. And as you can see, introduction is placed. We could actually move and adjust this um, if we wanted to afterwards, so it's not set in stone. You can place it wherever you want. But as you can see, the, the timeline is now, this uh, marker timeline is now changed to a blue. And you're going to see why, why it does that, because it organizes every chunk. So if we wanted to place that uh, intro, or the verse part now, so the verse hits right about here where these crashes are. Uh, so let's go ahead and just click, whoops, where did I go? OK. Click right here for the, the play marker. And simply, again, hit Enter, or if you want to go to the top left, you can. But I'm just going to hit enter, and then I'm going to put verse, zoom in for you guys, verse 1, and then simply hit OK. OK, now, now we have verse 1. Now, as you can see, it separates in color, so it's co uh, color coordinates for you as well, so you can kind of differentiate where you are. Now, I'm not going to locate the chorus exactly, just, but just to give you another example, let's, uh, let's Click this guy over here and add one more marker and simply hit enter. Brings up that guy and let's just put chorus. I know the chorus is probably isn't right there, but just as an example, now we can see that the overall song, if we zoom out, we have the introduction here, we have the verse here, and the chorus here. That's really, really awesome. Now, I can visually see where I'm at within the song just by glancing at the top. Now, one another cool thing is this window right here, which I'm going to bring up. If you hold Apple or Command, same button, and then hit 5 on the numeric pad all the way on the right, that's going to bring up this window right here, Memory Locations. Now this keeps track of all of your markers. So every single marker you make, it's going to be in the Memory Locations. Now, just in case, uh, let's just say your, your five, number 5 isn't working on your, key, 
um, on your keyboard. You can always go to the top window and go down to memory locations. And this, the Windows always has like a bunch of other windows as well, just as like a quick tip. But right here, we can access the memory location as well. Okay, but mainly what I wanted to focus on on the memory locations, I can actually click on one of these guys, and it will instantly put the play marker right where that is. So if I wanted to get to verse one, there we go. Did you see that? Pay attention to this this guy right here. These two markers are where the actual play marker is. So. Okay, see, I'm on verse one. Let's say, you know what, I wanna jump to the introduction. Simply click on that guy, and then there we go. So, there's the introduction. If I wanted to jump to the chorus, it's really, really that easy and simple. So adding markers to your uh, song, you definitely want to do that because it keeps you organized as well as you can just jump really, really quickly um, from one spot to another inside of your song. I use them all the time. I try and break up every single part, whether it's, uh, whether it's the introduction, the verse, the pre-chorus, the chorus, the bridge, second verse. Just I really like to break, out, break down my song as much as possible and use the memory locations to j just to jump around and uh, really v see my song visually. So there you guys go. If you do have any other questions about Pro Tools 9, hit me up. Shoot me an email at requestemahalo.com and as well as rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching.